Hello, good morning. It's been a long time. Um, it is Sunday, it's about 6.50. Oh, I should probably go on a walk because we're having like mornings in the 70s, which is nice, so I probably need to do that right now, now that I think about it. Um, but yeah, long time, no see. It's actually on my to-do list today to edit all the content for my trip. I have like bits and pieces of things I'm just gonna put it all together because maybe it'll be valuable to one of you. I don't know if I got like a full day of any eating, um, but there's some things and maybe I can talk about why I got some of them. I'm currently looking for like a new gym to join. Um, I was gonna join LA Fitness and I still might. It just like isn't super like nice. It's okay. Um, but um, it's just not really like a place I want to be, you know? I feel like, I don't know about you, but if it's like I join a gym, I also want it to be a place maybe I can like enjoy going. Where LA Fitness, it's just pretty simple. Um, I went and did like a, a guest pass. They have a ton of stuff. Like they have a ton of equipment, um, weights, and it's in a good area. If you're in Fort Worth, at least it's in an area. It's in West 7th, so like... There's, like, coffee shops by it that I could go after or just, like, walk around, um, which is important to me. But we don't really have any, like, really good gyms in the area. Um, let's, somebody made a list. Okay, this is a fake website. But, see, I wish we had Lifetime. Lifetime is in Alliance, which is, like, a 30-minute drive. I'm not doing that. Yeah, but it looks so nice. Is it worth it? I don't think it's worth a 30 minute drive every time I go. I want to go to the gym, right? But anyway, so it's Sunday. I am having, let me see better. This, oh, my morning latte. Um, I, with um, 2% milk, and I'm doing like lavender syrup these days. Uh, typically Sundays, I've been just like taking a chill. I feel like I have so many more, I have so many updates to update y'all on. Um, I've tried to go down to like working only 20 hours a week of like logged hours, like me sitting on the computer or me over at WeWork. So that means that I don't go to the grocery store anymore Sunday. Sunday I try to like completely relax, like not even doing any like social activities or anything, like pretty much just being okay with sitting on the couch the whole day. Um, and then I do go to church. I'm going to church. Uh, I think I'm going to, I've been going to the later service. So at 11, and then David and I are going to go see Oppenheimer at 3.30. I have a lot of food cooked, so I don't think I need to cook anything, but I might do some, like, prep. I don't know. Me working less also allows me to, like, have just more time during the day to cook our meals because since David has a remote job, I've been cooking and cleaning up all of our meals for lunch and dinner. And it's, like, a freaking full-time job, which I love, and I can kind of make into content, but... Um, it just takes a lot of effort. So that's on the docket for today. And then I don't really think anything else. So was, what is there else to update you on? I feel like since I've been working less, I also have been a lot more consistent with exercise because I feel like I realized the reason I hated strength training was mostly because it's not super enjoyable. And then also I always just feel like there's something else I should be doing instead. Um, so because I have a lot more time, I've been a lot more consistent with it. Um, and the reason I wanted to join a gym is because it's so freaking hot now, like 105 every day, that I can't even really walk in the morning. It's so hot. So I wanted to join a gym with a pool and LA Fitness has a pool and it's like $40 a month. So it's not that bad. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for now, so maybe let me go on a walk in two minutes. I gotta try to watch those. Good.
so I am gonna walk and it's a little crispy out. It's like 70, which for Texas is like, I could probably use a little something on my arms. There's like a cool breeze, which is crazy. Um, so I think I'm gonna just go on maybe like a 30 to 40 minute walk, however much I really want to. I actually have been like anti-walk lately, which I don't know why. I think it's because I've been kind of like bored of, I don't know, like nothing to do on my walk, like nothing to listen to. I haven't really been listening to podcasts. I guess that's another update is I have really cut out all the media that I intake except for YouTube. So I deleted the Instagram app off my phone and I just like re-upload it if there's something I feel like I really want to share. Um, and then I re-upload it during business hours for my business account. But for my personal account, I haven't really been on it and it feels a lot better just to like live in the moment and not have to wonder, should I be posting this? Should this be content? Like, I think the thought process I always had is like, oh, this is really cool. This is a really enjoyable moment. I want to share it with other people. So they think it's cool too. But now when I have that thought, I just get to really focus on why I think it's a cool moment. And it actually makes me feel a lot better. Um, and then I'm in taking way less media, which makes me feel less likely to buy stuff. It makes me feel like I don't constantly need new clothes, <laughs> stuff like that. Um, uh, where was I going with this? Um, oh, and I think all that to say, I also have like stop listening to podcasts because I feel like it's like along that same vein. Uh, so I think that's all why I'm like, I don't really have anything to do while I walk anymore. I've been kind of just listening to music. Um, but so I did sign up for a free, like a, a tour of Lifetime. It's just so expensive. It's $180 a month which is a lot. <laughs> I am canceling my Pilates. So I joined Pilates, a, a reformer Pilates class a while back. Um, and I'm canceling it because it's $180. I didn't really end up using it. So they do have a pickleball court though. So it's actually cheaper if we do the membership at Lifetime, instead of paying like the $60 every week, we were paying to go play an hour of pickleball. However, I don't know if like I can always bring David as a free guy. So that's the question I have. So if we do that and we force ourselves to play pickleball there and they have indoor courts, so we'll probably be more likely to play every weekend. It's just a 20 minute commute, which for Texas is like expected. I don't think David's going to like that. And I don't necessarily love that considering that's almost like a whole hour out of my day just driving. But I don't know. I probably could like cut back on an hour and something else that I do, like piddle around in the morning. Um... Yeah, so we'll see. I have a tour on Tuesday. As long as they don't make me commit to a whole year, I might sign up. And then if I end up really loving it, I feel, if I feel like it changes my like overall quality of life, I might keep it. But if not, I might cancel it after a couple months just because I am trying to cut my costs. So that I don't feel the pressure of having to work so much, which is all really helping my anxiety. Okay, so I ended up just making another one because I'm actually pretty hungry. Um, but I did want to say that I am kind of like actively trying to lose weight right now, or at least like just get back down to the weight that I was before, which honestly I might already be. When I went on all these trips, I went like on, I don't know, maybe I could do this. I went, you know, like on a month of vacation basically and drink a lot and try to do good with eating, but a month is just a while. So I um, am trying to rein it back in. So. <clears throat> That's why I've kind of switched to eggs. So what that means for me is doing more protein. So my goal is like 84 to 90 ish. I kind of just aim for the, the 84 because I don't really like, I don't like a lot of protein foods. Um, 
uh, and I just want to make sure I'm back in like my normal range so it doesn't just keep going up and up. I feel like I float, like there's like a 10 pound range that I go within. And like, if I'm not, if like I, I'm on vacation or something or the holidays, I float up to the top of that range and kind of settle within those like five upper pounds. But I feel like it's best for me to float in the five lower pounds. So I'm trying to just float back there. And right now I'm kind of in the middle. So I've been at it for like two and a half weeks. Okay, like I was saying, when I am actively trying to lose weight, the biggest difference is that I just, um, really make sure to get my protein in check, which I have been able to do like not eating meat, but it is definitely a lot more difficult. So I've been doing like egg whites and like experimenting with like one meal of meat, uh, just because I need like an extra 20 to 30 grams versus when I'm like other videos, when I'm not trying to really lose weight. Uh, the only other difference is really, I just try to be very consistent with tracking and more consistent with like making sure that I'm in a calorie deficit pretty much every single day, if possible. I try not to be like way too strict because I don't know, there are nuances. I exercise a lot, but that's just, I always try to get five to six servings of produce in even when I'm not trying to lose weight. Cause that, so that's not a big deal, but it's mostly just making sure that I'm a little bit more strict with myself with like staying in a calorie deficit almost every single day if I can. And, um, increasing my protein intake and making sure that I really stay on top of strength training a little bit more than I normally do. But hopefully I only have to do this for like a couple more weeks. And then what it'll look like when I go back down to maintenance is pretty much like doing all the same things except just not having a higher protein intake again, going down to like 70-ish grams. Because for maintenance, you still have to do the rest of everything. You still have to be active. You still have to Oh, and I like, and not so strict about like always like being in a calorie deficit. Um, it's just when I went on these trips, I think I drank more alcohol. I was eating a lot. So I feel like I was probably eating around like 3000 calories a day. No lie. So that's just a big difference from what I normally do. Okay, so for lunch, we have like a hodgepodge of random things that I've been craving. Hopefully, I can go to this. So we have, um, uh, I had a bunch of leftover yogurt. So I was like, let me make tzatziki. So I made tzatziki. I think it definitely tastes better with like whole milk yogurt, but I only had like low fat. So, and I had these like leftover vegetables. So I was like, perfect. I just had to go to the store and buy like those herbs. Um, and then I got this really good zucchini sweet relish yesterday at farmer's market and they recommend it go good with like a like a chicken salad so i'm doing tuna salad well i literally just mixed together like a little bit of mayonnaise and some tuna and i'm gonna have this so we have like two servings of produce here and i would say like this together because it's like shredded cucumber and zucchini make another serving we have a protein and then i'm gonna have another serving of vegetables which is a um some uh, pickled, uh, what is this? Okra. Um, so kind of like a random stuff, but it's like a bunch of foods that I'm craving, trying to use up some stuff in the fridge. 
Um, yeah. What's up, Porky? What's up, Porky Pie? He says, Mama, it is time to eat. You gotta go ask your puppy. He just went to work. Work. He's so handsome. You're a handsome boy. Okay, I went to the pool and I had one and a half margaritas. I mean, not margaritas. Sangrias. Which I probably shouldn't have done because we're going to the movies in an hour, two and a half hours, and now I feel like sleepy, and that's like the worst. But I just had like an extra, like an extra half of what I wanted to have. So hopefully it won't be too bad. But I do feel kind of sleepy. If I end up falling asleep, then it's fine, I guess. Um, but Hercules, I wish it turned around. Hercules. But I guess I'm going to finally try to edit this old YouTube video. I'm going to take the trash down and then I'm going to eat dinner. Okay, I feel kind of bad for this, but I'm having another latte, which I like never do. I never have a latte at 5.30 in the evening, but I'm not going to make it through this meeting, this movie. And it's a double espresso. Let's hope that I can fall asleep tonight. I actually feel like it doesn't really affect me too much unless I have like like a ton of like espresso martinis or like like a Vietnamese iced coffee situation. Like I don't feel like where it's like way super strong. So we'll see. But normally I don't have like six doses of caffeine throughout the day. And yes, I'm freaking emptying the dishwasher. Okay. Amendment of one Try ways that will never go for a lump sum. We have to split it up into jurisdictional parts. When I announce the medical works, I promise 10 million jobs. <laughs> So I'm supposed to be at Oppenheimer right now, but I just kind of got into a funk and I don't want to go. And now I'm like, Ugh, I wasted that like espresso, but um, I'm sitting out at this like park kind of that's like out <laughs> by my apartment. Um, yeah, and the funk has caused me to like not really want to eat anything. And I'm like, wait, I wasted that latte. But at least it has protein in it. So probably not. Did I get sunburnt today? <laughs> um, probably not going to Oppenheimer. I also got Botox yesterday. And I'm like, keep trying to test. My forehead is like definitely a lot more set. And this is not. And I got, I got, I got Botox here and then here and here. I feel like this isn't, maybe it looks a little different. I don't know but um yeah so i think i'm gonna read and I'm, I'm gonna finish putting together the menu and i don't know it's like 7 45 and i kind of just like want to get in the bed by 8 30. we'll see all right it's the end of the day i don't know i don't know what to do about that weird light um it's the end of the day and i ended up just eating like another little plum thing that i had I did eat a banana earlier that I don't think I showed you. Um, but yeah, I ended up just like not eating anything. David and I talked for like two hours about my like little funk that I was in and I feel better, but I just like really didn't feel like eating anything. I still needed to like wash off the sunscreen from the pool. And so now it's like 1030 and I think I'm gonna like redo my menu because it's like giving me anxiety that I think I'm gonna, I just mostly need to figure out like if I need to cook tomorrow or not. Um, and I just like realized I have like a lot of different items that I need to go through in the fridge before I actually go to the grocery store so yes so this is my day um I feel like I've been doing a lot better about food <laughs> and then today happened I'm actually surprised that my protein was pretty high without me having to put a lot of effort into it and then I think that's just the power of eating like more meat like the tuna um, my fiber was low it's crazy because I like pre-tracked today and I was at like 60 grams of fiber when I pre-tracked it and then more I took away, the less fiber I got because the protein bar would have been like 12 grams of fiber. Um, the sweet potato is like five grams of fiber. I was going to do more beans. And now I'm at like under the goal. So just the power of eating can help you get more produce in. Um, I got like three and a half servings of produce today as well, which is no bueno. Um, but hey, it's okay. Not every day is going to be perfect. Um, today is Sunday. Mostly I just like try to rest. I try not to put too much pressure on myself on Sunday. Um, 
And I actually feel like despite having that like extra latte, I do feel like I could probably fall asleep right now. Because I'm sleepy, but thank you so much for watching. I don't know when I'm going to do another day. I probably should do another day this week. Maybe I'll report back on like Thursday or Friday if I end up signing up for Lifetime. And I can show you that little gem because that would be fun. So make sure to like and subscribe. Bye.